Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel again. In this video, we're gonna learn two life cycle hook method of React. Uh, first one is component will receive props that has been deprecated, and next one is get drive state from props. It is a static method that is the replacement of uh, component will receive props. So let's uh, do this practically. First of all, Paul, I'm gonna import React and component from React. Next thing I'm gonna import text and a view. from React Native. React Native. Then after I'm gonna create a class app that will extend the component. Inside it, I um, have a render method that will return React element inside it I have a view and inside it I have a text as well and for this text uh, I'll have a number for this I'm gonna create a state like a uh, state is equal to the number and uh, I'm initialize it uh, with zero. Here I'm gonna pass this dot uh, state dot number. Make it correct as well. This is text. After that, I'm gonna create a button or touchable opacity. First, we need to import it from React Native Touchable Opacity and after that just create a tag here of Touchable Opacity and inside it I'm gonna give a text I called change number and for the table opacity, I'm gonna give some style. I'm giving it background color of uh, orange. And uh, text color should be black. That's right. So on the screen, we will have a number and after that we have a button let's perform some action when we click on this button so on press here I'm gonna use the function this dot uh, like uh, after press and uh, here I'm gonna create after press function this should be our arrow function and inside it I'm gonna set the state this dot set state and here I'm gonna increase the number by one so here number is equal to this dot uh, state dot number and I'm gonna increment it by one just save all of these and let's see the output I forgot to export the class as well, so I need to export default app. Save all of these. Uh, there I'm getting the error on line number 10. Let me see this. Here I have to use colon in place of equal to symbol. Let's reload this again. Here you can see the output. We have a number of zero. And if I click on the change number, it re-entered the 
to our component again and change the state. First, uh, it set the state uh, by increment it to one, and then it re-render the our component and show the output. If I press again, so it will increase by one again. So how many time you will click on this, uh, it will increase uh, your state by one. Now let's create another component and uh, give it name of uh, hoops. So I'm going to use a class and uh, give it name of hooks that will extend the component as well. Inside it, I have a render method and inside it, I have return method as well. Here I have write class uh, two times. Just remove this first. Inside it, I'm going to create a view. So, uh, give it name some as a title. I'm giving it React Hooks. And after that, text that will hold this dot uh, probes dot number and uh, for separate it from above component I'm giving it uh, some style and uh, I'm giving it color of red so that's fine now use this uh, component in the above component here I'm going to use hooks and give the number that will equal to the this dot state dot number self close it save all of these and let's reload our screen again there you can see we have our first number then we have button and we have our next component for react hooks so click on the change number you can see it uh, changed the state of uh, our component as well as our hooks component. So uh, now I'm going to create the lifecycle method of uh, component will receive probes. Let's see what it will do. Component will receive probes. And if you hover on it, you can see called when the component may be receiving new probes. Uh, whenever the component will receive a new property, it will called and react me call this even if probes have not changed. So like uh, we have our number one, uh, initial state we have number zero and whenever we click the button, our number changes to the one. But uh, like uh, if uh, in the set state method, we are not uh, gonna change the state. We have having the state's value as the previous one. So it will call it again. So let's see. Here I'm gonna pass the an argument inside it. I'm gonna give it name of next probes. And console dot warn I'm giving a uh, new props received and uh, here I'm gonna pass the value of uh, next props as well and just uh, remove it uh, console from here let's see the output Reload the screen again. Here you will see a warning like a component will receive probes has been deprecated. That's why uh, used static get receive probes has been introduced. So I'm gonna dismiss this warning right now. So now we have our initial state of zero and initial property of zero as well in react hooks component whenever we change the number our state 
is increment by one and also we receive a new property here you can see in the console I have written a message like new probes received next probes so new probes received which is number having the value of one when I click the change number again it will receive the new probes again so uh, like uh, when we receive the initial state it will not call this and whenever we gonna receive new property again so uh, at it will receive the property again and so the message at uh, your console dot board but uh, here we can change uh, like uh, uh, if we have the new state value similar to the previous state value so it will call this again as uh, when you have your power on it it will show it automatically uh, like react to me call this even if props have not changed so like it has been deprecated so I'm gonna just comment this and let's uh, use our component our static method of get drive state from props to write state from props it holds uh, the two parameters uh, first I'm giving it uh, next props and second one I'm giving it a uh, previous state inside it I'm gonna return first of all I'm gonna write console dot uh, copy this from here and just paste here and after that here I'm gonna return next props save this and let's see the output reload the screen here you can see uh, we have a warning as well like uh, get drive state but it initial state is undefined this is not recommended instead like uh, here we have to initialize our state as well but it is also not recommended I'm gonna dismiss this warning and here we have our new probes received that is number which have value of one so like in component will receive probes it will show uh, the output or it is called when we receive the new probes after uh, at the time of read enter but in get drive state probes at first time uh, the, when the component is render it is called and if I click on change number here you can see if new props received the number one so let's uh, uh, initialize the state as well so here I'm going to use constructor inside it super and inside it I have state this dot uh, state is equal to uh, I'm giving it name of init state that is equal to the one and here I'm gonna use the text uh, this dot uh, state dot uh, init state and I'm giving the green color here so let's uh, remove the commented component uh, will receive props as well save this and let's check the output first here you can see our we have our initial initialized state of our first component in second component of react hooks uh, we have our first probes of zero and state as well so if I, I'm gonna change the number it will increase by two here and here are three so here I'm gonna check the value like if our previous state is equal to the next state then stop the re-render at that time so here I'm gonna use a condition if uh, 
next probes dot number is not equal equal to the previous state dot init state then we have to call this receive the new new probes else I'm going to return the null value like every time on the console we see a warning like uh, we have received our new probes but here I had put the condition if our previous state is uh, similar to the next state at that time do not call the get drive state from probes let's see is it handle that or not so there you can see we have our probes which is number is equal to the zero and our state is one and here um, we are seeing the warning what happened when I change the number you can see the it changed the number to the one as our state is equal to the number now so it is not called the cat drive state from probes uh, it only return the null value like here I put the condition because our state is similar to the previous state so here is not uh, showing any message and not returning any next probes it simply return the null at that time so what happen if I increase the number again there you can see it uh, this time it see the warning at the console uh, our number is 2 now like uh, our state is now different from the previous state so this thing we cannot do with component will receive props uh, here we can check the condition it get right state from props hopefully all of you will got uh, what is actually get right state from props and uh, component will receive props so if you have any suggestion for me so like uh, uh, write in the comment box and uh, like and share the video and if you are new then subscribe my channel as well